Kids Comics. Silverhead Bronze Age Babe here, yakking about her comic book collection, and today talking about a collection within the collection that I've been uh, working on of late. Uh, that is the DC Specials. Um, these things started popping up in 1968 or 9. Uh, the first batch of them ran, uh, I think, 11 or 12, 14 issues maybe, and then they took a break for a few years and started coming back in the mid-70s. Um, these uh, are pretty cool. Now I have a bunch of them because I had a bunch of them because I was collecting them for other reasons which I'll, I'll go through but then I realized that uh, in and of themselves they're kind of cool. Um, they are built around themes as opposed to titles generally and uh, so you get a great uh, compendium of reprint stories from primarily the Silver Age, and uh, and some Golden Age stories in there, too. This is issue number one, and it focus, it's, as it says, it's the all Infantino issue, and so it focuses on uh, mostly stories uh, from the early 60s and uh, that he wrote and drew, and it's a great collection, and I just, I absolutely love the cover on it because... You know, there he is at hard at work with uh, his creations staring on eagerly. Um, this is a uh, one of my favorite all-time uh, covers. Um, it's the all-girl issue, and I'm actually I'm going to do a video on something in this book uh, in the future. So stay tuned. I have more to say about that one. Uh, this I got. Uh, this is issue number four. Uh, and I got it uh, a few years back because it's a Neil Adams cover and uh, you know kind of fits in with my collection of the horror mystery titles like House of Mystery, House of Secrets, etc. And I thought the the cover was good and so I I like it. Um, this is issue number five and it's the Joe Kubert uh, special issue and I found this years and years ago at an antique mall when uh, we were on vacation and I didn't know anything about uh, Joe Kubert I didn't really twig to much of anything about him but it was uh, I think I don't know five six bucks uh, it was raining outside and I'm like well I like DC Comics I need something to read this afternoon I'll pick this up this is fantastic if you haven't seen it um, try and find a copy because there's a lovely um, introductory mini story where Joe uh, shares his uh, appreciation of his family. So he actually draws his entire family <laughs> and it's, it's really lovely. So yay. Uh, this is issue number six and I got this a few years back because again it's another Neil Adams cover and it's one of his favorite covers that he's drawn, but it's kind of one of the those under the radar covers. Uh, he said that he really uh, was kind of pleased at how he came up with the idea to, you know, uh, have the, the cowboy hiding behind the dead horse as the, as the uh, Indians come upon him only to be everyone's interrupted by the spaceship. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I just think it's a, I think it's a great Neil Adams cover. This is issue number seven, and strangest sports stories ever told. These are called from uh, primarily Brave and Bold, uh, issues from 1963. Um, and there's an interesting article within its pages talking about how comic books should, you know, decided to approach the issue of sports and how difficult it is to uh, convey sports uh, stories uh, graphically at the time because sports are all about action and so what they decided to do was combined combine sports with science fiction and so ergo you have a great story about a, gor a gorilla baseball team um, it's fantastic what can I say uh, this is issue number 11 and I got this relatively recently because it has a Jack Kirby mystery story in it and I've been on kind of a Jack Kirby non-superhero uh, story binge lately and so I needed to pick that up and it is uh, I really like it I uh, I love the cover the stories are a lot of fun and uh, it's just great to have that um, 
This is issue number eight, and uh, the most dangerous villains. Um, you know, you really can't beat a, uh, a book that packages the villains uh, for Superman and Batman, Flash, Green Lantern, and, and Hawkman. It's, it, these are just great examples of Silver Age goodness. And finally, um, this is issue number 10. And uh, I love the cover on this. I think that's just kind of amazing. Um, now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't read a single story in this because I really don't care about cops and robbers stories. But that cover, uh, I think, is pretty darn cool. So I am happy to have it in the collection and uh, happy to have a mini collection of DC specials. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.